Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Cancer. As you guys can see, <laughs> I'm trying to shuffle the full size deck, but really we're doing a horoscope spread today. So just bear with me. Let me give them a few more shakes and we will chat. So welcome. If you guys are new, we are doing 12 cards, 12 areas of life. And if you guys are not new, welcome back. Uh, so 12 areas of life, guys, um, not an astrological reading in any way, but the astrology houses give us, uh, shall we say, talking points, areas that are pre-established. And we can give some hopefully intuitive and uh, productive notes for you guys. So the reading is, okay, coming out for intended for March, but really it's a general message that I hope some would resonate with you. So house number one, personality, house number two, money and resources, house number three, communication, house number four, uh, home and family life, house number five, romance, children, enjoyment of life, house number six, we have work life, house number seven, marriages and partnerships, house number eight, transformation, shared resources, shared investments, house number nine, uh, philosophy, spirituality, deeper meaning to life, house number 10 about status and achievement, house number 11 about friendships and community ties, last but not least house number 12 is karma, a note on what may be happening, you know what, in our minds, unconscious if you will. Alrighty guys, so we have the king of swords beginning for you in house number one, cancer, this is a sharp energy, this is also a very very fair energy, so Number one, I love this deck, and I hope you guys are liking this deck. That's the ancient Italian tarot. King of Swords, okay, fairness, factual. Uh, the fairness note is so important, okay, because there's a lot of kindness that comes with that stance as well. I see <clears throat> a very, very sharp, determined Cancer. I see the energy of knowing, okay, just that, knowing. Um, kings are about completion of knowledge. We are taking a very, very interesting approach to things overall in life as it resonates with you. So empowered, logical, creative, able to think, you know what, without emotion impacting. So that could be a note as well. And maybe we do that sometimes and it could be positive or not. I mean, everything to a certain level extent is, is good. You be the judge, Cancer, but overall empowered. Now, house number two, about money, about resources. So now we have the Queen of Wands. Alrighty. Empowerment here, where the personality is leading for, okay, additional analysis. And queens are analytical in the way that they don't just take, you know, what facts and take them for granted. They turn them around. They say, what if we could do this? Well, if that's a problem, what if we could try another fix in that way? And then she has, or they have uh, particularly wands here, that excited element that, you know, what feeds the spirit hope, that gives the spirit the reason and the energy to look for solutions and find creative ways. So I see you in that space here, not taking, you know, what wind and turbulence for a no, but saying, what else can I do? What else can cancer do to improve in those areas? And having a happy, bubbly, if you will, outlook and attitude about it. Guys, this one card, I mean, I can say that and we can look at other cards, but this is, in my humble view, this is going to be the most, one of the most important notes I can suggest to you. If you can get yourself in that space of there's that smile there. There's that little bit of a grin there, knowing that cancer is able to achieve. Cancer is able to visualize and manifest the success in finances, the money, the money that, you know what, you know you can have, that there are ways to making it. Believe me, the opportunities flow. Manifesting is an amazing thing. It's all about a glance, a moment, when you truly send out that amazing vibe that makes things happen. Now, good energy for money, good energy for outlook on life as a whole. And now as we think of communication, thinking and learning, again, the energy of completion. Cancer and the reader who is, you know, sorry, the viewer who is resonating with this wants facts. They want um, 
a, an approach that has a beginning and a clear end to anything that they do. They want a straight up communication as well. And they have the energy of completing things, of running with ideas, taking them to fruition. This is very, very sharp, okay? Knowledge, facts, layers of detail, the ability to prioritize in the area of learning cancer. So some of you guys may be students, there may be, okay, an opportunity for new learning. If not, maybe you will seek advancement with uh, some additional learning in a new discipline or complementary to what you do. Now, to house number four, and we have the four of cups. So house number four deals with um, home and family life, all right? And we have here some element of stability. Um, you know, what can we say? Emotional stability appears to be present there. There appears to be some calm. Um, it should not be boring just because we get a four. Stability can be, <clears throat> you know what, the foundation for cancer to have those moments of mentally, of visualizing, of dreaming. So, Overall, guys, with the stability, the note that I say recently to all of you who are parents is providing creative options for your offspring, which we're going to talk about here in house number five. So your pleasures of life, okay, uh, we need to get creative about that. There is a transformation there. The death card is there, meaning transformation, something new, ending of something and a beginning, okay? It's also coming in the um, area of romance, if you will. So... In that house, there can be also a new beginning. The element of a new outlook may be on romantic relationships. However way it resonates, the note for uh, your offspring would be providing, you know what, good options in terms of uh, socialization, in terms of education, in terms of parenting under certain conditions. I know I continue to speak that we are in a bit of a lockdown in Canada, but maybe in other places, uh, these exist too. Now, overall, we are empowered. Overall, we are stable. Overall, we are working on changing, you know what, the style at which we do certain things. And at work, we have the world. This is a beautiful world card, but overall, inviting for, um, you know what, more stability. You appear to have more than one area uh, around work sorted out. Okay, there is this, shall we say, perfect harmony, if you will, uh, message that I get around you at work. Um, maybe also, if I can connect it to at home, maybe that's a reason. Maybe that feeds into that. And a lot of times they do, guys. When our job is stable, when work life is stable, it feeds into family life. And it should be the other way around as well. So, overall, there may be some opportunity as well that pops up in the area of work related to you. You know what, being consistent in the past related to you having, you know what, this kind of energy, this bubbly energy that's moving with the flow, being sharp, being factual, being honest. Um, those are all good personality traits that put you in this perfect harmony, shall we say, environment at work. Now, to house number seven, looking at marriages and partnerships, okay? So we have an element of speed here. We have the eight of swords. The Eight of Swords with a transformation happening in house number five. On the romantic side, guys, I would say, you know what, there, there may be something that's being offered, but I see this more, if you will, a uh, partnership about business in a way. Uh, Eight of Swords, the element of advancement, advancement of certain thoughts, okay? Uh, you are working with rational elements here. You are looking for completion of information. So right above it is the, you know, what element of me, cancer, my persona card. This is others' personas, if you will, if you wanted to look at it that way. So I say positive, providing you are logical and methodical and you have, you know, what dotted your I's and T's. There may be some partnership proposal that's about to, you know, what advance forward. Now, in the area of transformation, okay, so now we have a page, a page of wands, the area of shared resources, we have that energy, creating new ideas, on top of it was the house about your own resources, the mindset is spilling too, you know what, creating new ideas for shared investments potentially, 
and we have the energy for it. We have the excitement, the oomph for it. We want to see it all the way through. I like it. I like it. Now, to house number nine, and we have the nine. House number nine deals with our outlook or deeper meaning, okay, philosophically speaking, life as a whole. And now we have a nine of wands, as if to say, about to find something, about to have, a, again, a, a new, shall we say, vision, a new picture on how things can be and should be. And it could also be a change in outlook overall, but positive wand element there. So we are remaining upbeat in good momentum. And at the same time, we're digging deeper into a spiritual area, an area that can only feed the spirit, if you will, that wand element. So it looks like if it resonates with you guys, the deeper you get into that realm of spirituality, uh, the more it feeds back to you with more energy. Now we have more nines here. So right next door, um, at work, achievement. At work was six here, but achievement and success, um, unless you are a celebrity of art, usually in a way related to work. And we are also in that space. Almost there. Almost there for a 10 to come. We have a nine of pentacles. So the element of stability, the element of being factual, maybe providing this upgrade opportunity, if you will. We are nearing that. We have uh, a pentacle element that says staying consistent takes you to the end of that road. And it's interesting. We have pentacles going forward. So it's like reduce it by three, nine, six, and three. Okay. To house number 11, as we look at friendships and community ties, we're looking at overcoming of material obstacles, the six of pentacles, as if to say, don't make excuses, okay, to socialize cancer. I'm just going to say that ever so bluntly. Find ways to remain connected and engaged, okay? Don't take the easy way out with, uh, you know what, shying away from, from gatherings, shying away from, you know what, collaborating, etc. We have big goals. We have that energy. Let's overcome what is not allowing for that to happen. Now, it can be time. So sometimes, yes, you do have to stick to your priority plan, but make the time for being outside. Uh, it seems to me that, you know, the only, perhaps maybe the only obstacle is, is a material thing, uh, which is something you can overcome. You are able to find a solution around it. Now, overall, as to your karma, so I'm going to look at the three and say, so collaborate, Cancer. Just borrow that from here, from house number six, and I say, on your mind is some kind of collaboration. On your unconscious mind is some kind of coming togetherness, sharing of ideas, and at the same time, creativity now that is practical. As if to say, okay, Cancer is maybe expecting a change around work. Uh, we are getting creative. How best can Cancer benefit from that? So you take the proper steps. You make the right connections. You have the right conversations. So you are creative, but tactical about it. At home, we want to do something new. We get tactical. We say, okay, um, if we need to change the environment a little bit, well, there's going to be the element of money. We're going to need some money. We're going to need some time. What's the best use of our time and money to create something? That's the kind of creativity that I'm talking about that is practical and based on a foundation. So overall, guys, I really like the beginning of, you know, what the king here and the queen, king of swords and a queen of wands. And then we have a new, shall we say, path for a page of wands as well with shared investments. You had the world around work. You had stability in home life. And you had, you know, a completion of big thoughts in the area of thinking and learning. Nearing the achievement there with the nine of pentacles. And with that being said, Cancer, I hope you guys liked this reading. Would love it if you would comment and subscribe. You guys are so amazing. And I'm sure you know that we do love you madly. Bye for now, guys.